my research um, is about um, actually two different topics. Uh, the first one is about ensemble perception, uh, how people actually summarize very complex information. Um, and that is my first topic. And the second topic is about uh, visual awareness, uh, whether there are actually differences between uh, conscious processing and unconscious processing. Um, I don't know how to define um, the visual awareness per se, but I do want to define it in the future after I found out, uh, find out the characteristics of uh, conscious and unconscious processing and then compare them to each other. Uh, maybe in the future I'll, I'll, I can probably define it better. Philosophers and other cognitive scientists has been trying to define it, I don't know, over um, a thousand years, um, but still they couldn't come up with a very um, you know, agreeable definition of that. Um, so um, I'm just, not just me, but um, including others, I'm just trying to, you know, just compare conscious processing to unconscious processing. In my case, um, things are visible versus things are not visible, but physically there. Uh, if I keep doing those comparisons, maybe in the future I can find out what the consciousness is exactly. It's a very difficult question. Um, I, I think um, those are two different terms. Um, um, uh, in my mind, um, if you attend to something, then your performance will be likely to be improved. But uh, for uh, conscious processing, if you, even if you are aware of uh, something, that does not necessarily mean that your performance will be better. Like you said, uh, if you attend to it, then those informations are likely to enter your uh, uh, awareness and consciousness. So uh, they are tightly related, but in terms of performance-wise, I don't think attended ones are equivalent of uh, conscious ones because we know that in a lot of um, different areas that unconscious processing is actually better than conscious processing. You can talk about performance um, uh, by comparing attended versus unattended, but you cannot talk about you know, performance differences by comparing conscious versus unconscious processing. Okay. So that's one, uh, you know, distinction that I would like to make. Those questions are related to defining uh, what is a, what, what, what is attention and what is consciousness. But I want to go around those defining problems yeah. because that's quite messy and very difficult to define those very, um, you know, tricky concepts. To me, uh, conscious awareness, awareness is more like an uh, end product of the processing. So in that sense, uh, it's more like um, interpretation of the whole analysis that we made. But you can pay attention to every step of the, uh, you know, analysis that you are doing. So that's how I... Um, differentiate those two concepts without defining it. I would like to, I would love to see um, uh, whether, love to see whether we can actually regenerate um, neurons. Part of it uh, is a personal reason, um, other part of it is just um, um, curiosity um, and I, 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 it's just helpless to us um, see uh, how our um, close friends and uh, relatives and others just um, losing their mind because of the uh, you know injuries to the brain. Uh, so for example, to be able to talk uh, with a very close friend after a brain accident, um, that would be really wonderful, even though that person could be a different person. Um, I don't know. Uh, so, so, yeah, that's it.